Hello friends, this is the video of an implant case. Here as we can see in this picture, there is only a one right center incisor is remaining. There is no other teeth in the maxilla and patient wants a fixed processes. So we did a clinical and radiographical examination and this is the occlusal view of the patient in which we can see there is almost a flattening of right uh, posterior alveolar crest which is definitely presenting the large pneumatization of the maxillary sinuses and uh, on the left side somewhat the picture is same so this is the OPG and in OPG we can see the available bone is very less to place the implant so definitely this condition presents a challenge for me to perform the case for the implant so there are so many options so we'll go in detail so in this the same radiograph presenting with the yellow circles showing the right and left maxi sinus which are large enough and the red marking presenting the available bone for the implant and uh, this is the CBCT of the same patient in which the right maxi sinus as we can see is huge up to the crest level and the uh, arrow presenting the right pterygoid plate and the nasal floor below the nasal floor we have a, a little bit of bone for the implant placement on the left side same the maxi sinus is large up to the crest and the residual intraosseous defects are present at the region of lateral incisor and canine and the arrow presenting the pterygoid plate so uh, we have we can choose uh, different options like we can go for pterygoid implants or the gigometric implant or all R4 or the basal implant. So I selected this case for the pterygoid implant. So my plan is to place six implant anterior to the sinuses in the position which I have draw in this um, CBCT picture and rest two implants at the tuberosity to engage the pterygoid plate. So I started with the extraction of center incisor. Then I have given the crest incision extending from the second premolar area to the other side second premolar area and after that we have to raise the flap after raising the flap we have to remove all the remaining uh, pathology in the bone and uh, did thorough curettage and debridement to make the bone pathologically free and then we started with the primary osteotomy so I did it initially anterior to the sinuses area and these pictures showing the parallel pins in position to represent the angulation as well as the inter implant distance in between the parallel pins. Then uh, I have given the incision on the right maxillary tuberosity and flap is raised to expose the tuberosity and um, the same procedure done on the other side as well and then we we'll start with the osteotomy here the direction of osteotomy is extremely important because we know the pterygoid plates are positioned more medial and posterior to the maxillary tuberosity so to engage the proper landmark the direction is extremely important uh, then only we can get the primary stability of the implant so this picture is showing the direction so drill bit tip has to be uh, in this direction which should engage the right place in right time so uh, after doing the same on the other side we have placed two pterygoid implants and uh, six implant in the anterior region uh, three implants on each quadrant then uh, this picture is showing the bone grafting so this is guided bone regeneration i have used uh, alloplastic material for this to cover the implant surface especially on the defected bone area after that uh, we did this picture showing the uh, all anterior implants in position and uh, it uh, i found it good and uh, definitely it's a challenging case to work it on but if you plan executes well during the procedure so definitely your work done in a easy way so planning here is a very important and this picture showing the primary closer i've used 30 marcel with a reverse cutting needle then at the second stage after uh, removal of the gingival abutments 
then uh, I place the transfer abutment for the implants, uh, for the impressions and uh, we have done the impression after that the model has been poured and uh, this picture is showing the all six anterior implants along with the two pterygoid implants and uh, <coughs> after that uh, the abutments have been placed and uh, definitely after the rest uh, clinical and uh, laboratory procedures we finally achieve the final processes so here we can see the extension coming from the pterygoid implants to the final processes this extension will give extra anchorage to the processes as well as as uh, uh, they will avoid the cantilever formation in the processes and this is the occlusal view and finally uh, we this is the opg x-ray after the implant has been placed we can see the all eight implant in position and these red color arrows are indicating the implant at the pterygoid plates right and left side so picture like this definitely gives us work satisfaction and uh, this is the before and after comparison of OPGs as we can see clearly. Thank you.